Hi, I'd like to demonstrate how you can get started using our plugin CubeGuard. I'm going to guide you through the installation process into the Community Edition server in its version 5.2. So let's get started. First of all, um, I have the zip file of the BI server here. I'm going to unzip it. And it gives me the new folder BI server CA. I'm going to navigate into Pitaha Solutions system so I can install my plugin. It's still not in the marketplace. That's why I'm going to clone it into the system folder so it will generate the plugin folder there. I'm going to copy the git URL and then I'm going to git clone the repository. And it will then automatically generate the cube guard folder within the system folder. Now I'm going to start the i server. So our server is now on. I'm going to log in as admin. We have now this brand new BI server, Community Edition, with CubeGuard enabled on it. We can see into Tools CubeGuard that our administration page is available already. When we first load the page after the installation process, it will show us into the environment config checklist these two items. Um, first of them, all plugin files installed, marked with this uh, yellow button here, saying that it's not or it's bad installed. We shall now click here to fix. It will then copy the files to their to the places that it, they need to be copied, and. It shows now that uh, we should restart our BA server. It's marked in yellow. Classes are not loaded, but we need to start the BA server. That's what we're going to do now. So now we have our plugin enabled. In the plugin config page, we're going to see those two um, items on the checklist, on the config checklist, as well as we'll also see now all these schemas available in our system. For instance, simple data and steel wheels. These are the available OLAP schemas that we have in our system. Um, but we're first going to install some plugins here to make the thing more interesting. I'm going to install Seiko and OLAP4j through Marketplace. So Seiko Analytics, I'm going to install it, install it successfully, and then I'm going to find OLAP4j, actually Pivot4j, okay, we're now going to stop our BA server. Before we restart our BA server, we need to run a script into Seiko installation that tells Seiko to use the same Mondrian as our BI server. I need then to go to system, Pentaho solutions, system, Seiko folder. And then I'm going to locate, here is our 
small piece of script that we need to execute. Seiko share mondrian.sh We need them to tell our web app server path, which is my server, Tomcat, web apps, and Tao. And it's patched, so we now just need to start again our BA server. So now our BI server is on and I should have Seiko Analytics and Pavot4j for fooling around with my analysis data sources. I should see them available here on Create New and I have the option to create a Pavot4j view as well as the new Seiko Analytics. Let's do a new Seiko Analytics over steel wheel sales. to show us here I'm gonna drag uh, quantity to measures and territory to rows so I'll see all my territories and it, their quantities so what I'm gonna do here is that I will uh, manage my data sources to get the schema file from steel wheels because at this point we, we need to we need to have into our schema file at least one row authenticated so we can fool around with it. It's in downloads. I saved it here. And I have this file representing my schema steel wheel sales. I'm just gonna put this piece of code here which tells uh, one role named authenticated with uh, the schema grant accessed known. I'm gonna get my schema and put, put it in the end. So I'll have after the last cube, before closing the schema tag, I'll have my role. I'll then save it, put it back to the server. Do I import analysis? It's in downloads, schema, import. It will ask me to override. It's overwritten. And if I'll try to make a new Seiko analytics vision now, Seiko analytics, it will show me no steel wheel says anymore. However, I'm going to KubeGuard admin page so I can enable the dynamic security there. I'm going then to locate my steel wheels analysis. I'm going to, I'm going to enable dynamic security. And I'm then going to, to choose an endpoint for providing data to this dynamic security, which is the example that comes with the plugin this get custom access rules steel wheels. I'm gonna save the changes. Uh, the default endpoint type is result set, as it shows here. But I can also choose it just for making sure that it's the result set type of endpoint which is used. Um, so what I told here is that hey, for this uh, schema file, I want to have dynamic security enabled. I want to use this endpoint as the source of the security rules to be applied and I want this, this endpoint to output result set. Um, if I will open now a new Seiko analytics view, I should be able to see my new steel wheel sales. I still don't know what is that back in the endpoint so let me just give you an example I'll drag territory to rows and quantity to measures and I see only NA as a territory 
Let's take a look on how does the endpoint look like. So this is the endpoint I configured to be the source of information for my steel wheels schema. It's telling here that the hierarchy's measures to be allowed includes the values uh, markets point NA. It's telling that you only the member NA is to be allowed for the user admin on the cube steel wheel sales. Let's put something more here. Let's also tell that the user is uh, is allowed to see also this other member. I'm going to save this. As I'm changing the file, I still need to um, update to refresh the, the endpoint. But if it happened that instead of a data grid here, we would have a, a table input or some other inputs that would uh, read the data from somewhere else, I didn't need to do that update. What I'm going to do now is to build a new Seiko Analytics so we can see our changes applied. Steel wheel sales, markets to rows, quantity as measures, and we now can see MAIN NA. Let's try to demonstrate it on our own pivot for j we're going to choose the scheme of steel wheels and its cube steel wheel sales let's drag quantity for columns and territory for rows we see the same allowed members. So this is more or less how you can get started using it. 